keeping up with the motto of our school Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students today we'll be learning mathematics 2 standard 10th topic which we'll be learning today is similarity now let us revise what we have done in the last class we did four ratios related to the ratio of areas of two triangles the first one is ratio of areas of two triangles is equals to ratio of product of their corresponding bases and heights second one if the two triangles have equal heights then the ratio of their areas is proportional to their corresponding bases and if bases are equal it is proportional to their corresponding heights is the third one and the last one the ratio of areas of two triangles with equal heights and bases their areas are also equal these four ratios can be written as A one upon A two is equals to B one into H one upon B two into H two. If heights are equal, A one upon A two is equals to B one upon B two. If bases are equal, A one upon A two is equals to H one upon H two. And if both bases as well as heights are equal, A one upon A two is equals to one upon Now let us solve the sums which are based on these properties which we have learned. We already did sum number one from practice set one point one. We'll be solving sum number two now. If you see the diagram, in this diagram, we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ADB. If you see these two triangles, BC is perpendicular to AB. And AD is perpendicular to AB. The length of BC and AD is given to us. We need to find the ratio of their areas of these two triangles. Now to solve these sums, we need to first think which property we are going to use out of the four properties which we have just seen before this slide. To find out which property out of those four. will be applicable to these sum we need to recall them and we need to find out what we know about these two triangles yes if you see the two triangles have common base ab now you can see all the four properties on your screen which we have done in the last class a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 into h1 upon b2 into h2 and the remaining three now we need to think which one will be applicable to these two triangles ratio Yes, you are right. We'll be using the third one. If the two triangles have common base, the ratio of their areas is proportional to their corresponding heights. So, a one upon a two is equals to h one upon h two. Now we know which property we'll be using in this sum. Let us solve the sum. so the two triangles that is triangle abc and triangle adb have common base so the ratio of the areas is equals to bc upon ad for triangle abc bc is the height and for triangle adb ad is the height 
So the two triangles ratio will be equals to 4 upon 8. The length of BC is given us as 4 and AD is 8. So it is 4 upon 8. That means ratio of areas of two triangles, triangle area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle ADB is equals to 1 upon 4. So that is your final answer. This is how we are going to solve the sums using these properties. Now let us solve sum number 4 of exercise 1.1. If you see the diagram, we have two triangles in this figure, triangle ABC and triangle DCB. Triangle ABC is colored as red, triangle DBC is yellow in color. For triangle DBC, which is an obtuse angle triangle, if I take BC as the base, so height will be drawn from the vertex D, which is the height of the triangle, let us name the height as DQ. And for triangle ABC, also the base is BC. So for triangle ABC, AP is the height. That means the two triangle in this figure, the two triangles in this figure have common base BC. So the property which we'll be using to solve this is A1 upon A2 is equals to H1 upon H2, which we have already used in the last question. But let us hold. We have one more information given in this question. If you see in the question, it is given that AD is parallel to BC. So we need to think what is the use of these two lines which are parallel in this question. Let us understand why two lines are given in this diagram which are parallel to each other. To understand that, let us consider these two lines, line L and line M which are parallel to each other and I will find out distance between them. First, let us take AB as one of the distance between them. It is a perpendicular distance between line L and line M. And let us take one more distance between these two lines that is line L sorry line M and line N and if you see the if you compare these two distance that is AB and CD okay, what can you tell about these two lengths yes you are right AB and CD are equal that means distance between two parallel lines perpendicular distance between two parallel lines is always equal. We will be using this concept in this sum. Let us go back to the sum. We have in these two triangles that is ABC and triangle ABD they have common base BC. So we came to a conclusion that the property which we can use here is A1 upon A2 is equals to H1 upon H2. But we also know in this diagram AD and BC are parallel to each other. If these two lines are parallel, we know their heights are equal. Heights of these two triangles will be equal. That is AP will be equals to DQ. We just saw this in the previous slide. That means now the two triangles have heights as well as base equal. If heights and bases both are equal, then we know the fourth property which will be used here. That is A1 upon A2 is equals to 1 upon 1. Since heights and bases both are equal, they have common base and heights are equal since the triangle lies between two parallel lines. That means area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle BCD will be actually equals to 1 is to 1. 
Now remember this concept which we have learned just now. We'll be using this in the next theorem which we'll be doing in the next class.